welcome everybody back to a new developer blog for Mount and Blade 2 Battlelord. Now this is a blog that came out just the other day and I've been very busy so I haven't had time to cover it until now. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this. It's about the 3D modeling texturing of the game and of course there's a few more screenshots in there as well that tell us a bit about the single player map. So sit back, relax and enjoy tonight's video on the new blog for Mount and Blade 2 Battlelord. Of course we know Mount and Blade 2 Battlelord is an extremely nice looking game. And this isn't just the battles that we play in the game, not just in multiplayer but single player as well. But this is also the map, the overhead map, the overworld map that we play in over the top. And it looks absolutely gorgeous. Now there's a screenshot here that has been put on the dev blog which just looks amazing. I love the river running through the valley here. We have the different towns and provinces of each of the factions going to war with each other. And I think we're going to have definitely more of a resource battle in this game than we did in Warband, where we're going to be able to have to find different places to get different resources. Let's say one area of the map is going to have more wealthy, luxurious resources. We need to get that to be able to join that trade for like the silk trade or maybe a grain trade. Each place will probably have its own individual advantages and disadvantages to own it, which I think is a really beautiful way of doing it. Now one of the new things that they're definitely doing to improve the game is to rewrite and implement an improved game engine greatly. Now we know Warband was a great game but it had its difficulties and the engine was something that really limited that in some way so I'm very glad that they're building upon that. This means that we're going to have more powerful graphics of course and textures, better optimization, and all these new functions and things added in with these new mechanics. Now some of these new mechanics we have always seen in the past but one of my favorite ones is probably the dynamic overworld map that we can see there which is basically let's say you capture a town or a city here you have the opportunity to do different things you can change the taxes you can put a lord in assigning to looking after that town or province if you don't really want to do it themselves and then they'll choose what to build or yourself you can build stuff on your own let's say you want to build more fortified walls a better city a better castle in there or maybe a watchtower or a blacksmith or something like that that will always be part of your trade but not only can you do that when you're looking into your city but that will also show dynamically and gradually on the overworld map we can see from this screenshot we have a, a fort here that looks to be some sort of keep and then of course the building of that fort on the right hand side there so that's all going to be shown on the map and it looks absolutely gorgeous where you have the scaffolding coming up as it's going to be shown dynamically on the overworld map now if I'm going to be completely honest, I'm not too happy with this dev blog. It basically gives us no new material. That's why this video is so short. So yes, I have promised that I will bring out a video every time there's a dev blog. That's why I've done it. Uh, otherwise, I don't think I would have made this video since there's literally nothing here that's new. I feel like Tale Wars are just kind of trying to pad out the waiting time at the moment with their dev blogs. But other than that guys if you want to see more make sure you follow the channel because i will be bringing them out every time there's a dev blog no matter how little information we have if we keep it short and sweet like this one it will have to do but until then i will see you in the next one